What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson 4 here bringing us some Black Ops 3 multiplayer gameplay here on PS4. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy the gameplay because I managed to go 57 kills and 28 deaths on this game mode called Safeguard. Now, I did not know what to expect from this game mode because I did not play it on the beta. So, um, stepping into this game mode like right away, I was like, what the hell do I expect? Like, what the hell is going to be going on? And when I played the game mode, I was like, oh, you just got to transfer the robot from one side of the map to the other. And that kind of sucks though, because in Ground War, um, they replaced Kill Confirm with Safeguard. I was like, Kill Confirm was pretty much more chaotic than than Safeguard. And Safeguard, well, you gotta freaking stand next to the robot in order for it to move. And it kind of causes a lot of chaos and uh, pretty much a lot of, you know, a lot of camping is involved. I don't know. But um, the only problem that I see with Safeguard is that um, why one robot? Why not two? You know, make it more, more diverse out there or something because um, everybody's gonna be in a big ass ball and it gets annoying when nobody freaking standing next to the robot. So, I don't know, man. Safeguard is something new that I did not expect. So, um, see, so yeah, I've been playing that a little bit. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Ground War lately. Uh, the first few hours of the game I didn't even do good. It's not because oh, there's a lot of lag or people are camping. It's just that um, you know, I wasn't used to it. I haven't played Call of Duty like in a while. So. Um, coming back to it, like in the first hour, I wasn't even doing good. I was going like 15 and 30, and <laughs> I was embarrassed about it. But I was like, God damn, you know, you gotta get better along the way. And I did. You know, apparently I did. I did unlock more attachments for my CUDA, and also for the VMP, and um, some assault rifles here and there. You know, there's an uh, assault rifle called the ICR. That one's super similar to the ACR of Modern Warfare 3, and also to an assault rifle from. Uh, Call of Duty goes that one I think it's related to the ARX um, it's super similar to it so um, yeah there's that assault rifle is pretty cool to use um, a lot of the weapons are usable in this game there's no OP weapon over the other actually there's there's only one though there's an LMG which allows you to kill a person with two shots and that's gonna get annoying because <laughs> you know that thing can aim from super far away so um, I don't know. I haven't seen anybody abuse it, but I'm pretty sure in the near the future, and people are doing videos for sure about about tips about that weapon. You know, people are gonna start abusing it after that. So um, expect like till next week to uh, people to abuse that LMG and stuff. So uh, that's one thing that's gonna get out of hand. Uh, the lag spikes. There's no lag really for me. There isn't. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, "Oh, there's lag all over goddamn place 24/7." It's because you gotta get the fuck out of your Wi-Fi, man. I don't have Wi-Fi. I have wired connection, so I pretty much have the advantage in hosting and stuff, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I, I never see any problems with lag. I mean, as you can see, it's just solid connection. This is, this is just amazing. I was like, wow, you know, that's the first back in Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 1, man, there was like lag spikes all over the goddamn place. They'll even kick you out of the freaking lobby. Um, also in the first, in the first week of release, it wasn't even stable at all, especially on Black Ops 2. That thing was shutting down like every other day. The servers were freaking terrible. So that's the one thing that, you know, really surprised me this year was that, uh, there wasn't any server issues for me. Compared to other people from Australia and Europe, you know, they were having server issues. I've been hearing a lot of people that can't even log in and stuff like that. Um, another thing about the multiplayer you gotta expect, guys, is a little bit more slow pace. And you have more chance to actually shoot somebody. Compared to last year to Call of Duty Events Warfare, where everybody was jumping like crazy all over your goddamn screen. You can't even aim in that game. I can't even aim. And also, by the way, only two weapons were usable, which was the ASM-1 and the BAL. Well, this year, you can use any kind of weapon you want. As long as you customize it to your liking, you're gonna do good in this game. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of things to do in this game. Uh, multiplayer has uh, improved from last year. At least they give you a little bit more chances to take out enemies instead of people exploding the goddamn jumps. It was, like, it was just super crazy last year in the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Um, so, yeah, that's all I want to talk about. My first impressions on uh, Call of Duty Black Ops the multiplayer. It's overall a B plus. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to give it an A because uh, I know it's not that perfect, but... Um, I want to give this multiplayer a B plus on performance on the first day, and um, I did super well in the, like in the second hour and the third hour, and then the fourth hour when I was playing, I was like, uh, and I started sucking. Like I didn't even care anymore. So, um, so yeah, the first hour I sucked. The second hour, third hour, I freaking beat it up. Like I got like some few gameplays out here, like with 40 kills and stuff. It was super awesome. And uh, one thing that really sucks though was that I didn't call in a lot of kill streaks because I didn't I didn't had the, uh, the the care package or any other kill streaks. So, um, so yeah.
that's all I wanted to talk about. Uh, another thing extra, guys, there's going to be best class sets for the CUDA coming soon. I'll be bringing in more gameplay so you guys can see how the CUDA actually performs with one of my cl uh, with one of my uh, setups that I have here and uh, for Black Ops 3. And uh, I'm pretty sure most of you guys are going to be able to use this weapon. It's a great beginner weapon, and uh, it's going to help you guys um, raise your accuracy a little bit of your um, awareness, too, because the way I have it set up is just great for short range and uh, close quarter combat. I mean, you just saw a lot of that in this gameplay. If you guys paid attention to the whole gameplay, I took out people's back to back and uh, right in front of their faces. I mean, you'll be surprised. I even slid in front of their faces and I took them out. I took them all out like real quick. So, if you guys want to do that, uh, subscribe for more because there's going to be more tips, more gameplay, more stuff for Black Ops 3. And uh, the CUDA, the best class setup, is going to be coming out on Thursday, I believe. So, um, just let me post like two more gameplays and I'll show you guys that this gun is beast the way I have it set up. So, that is it, guys. Subscribe for more. If you guys want to see more Black Ops 3 multiplayer gameplay.